Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find and add add-ons to your Google Slides. Now, I've made a video about this in the past, but there's a small change to the way it's done. So here I am in Google Slides with my amazing sample presentation, and I'm going to go up to the add-ons menu. Now, if you're in a G Suite for Education domain or a G Suite for Business account, you may see that your domain administrator has already added some add-ons for you. Otherwise, this will be blank, and you can go to Get Add-ons. From here, you'll find all of the add-ons that work with Google Slides. Now, if you want to get a little preview of them, you can go in and just click on it, and you can see some screenshots, and occasionally you might find a video about it. You can read a little overview and read some reviews about it. Now, let's say I want to use this math equations add-on. I now hit the install button, hit continue, and it's going to ask me for permissions to use my account. And you'll see all the permissions listed there, what it's asking you for. Click allow. And now you can start using this add-on. Now on this next screen is where some people get a little bit confused and that is in actually accessing the add-ons that they've just installed. So let's close this window now. You can see it's now installed because we now have an uninstall button. We can go up to the add-ons and now we have our new math equations and we can hit menu and we're able to start using this math equations add-on. Now, I have not used this one much, so I'm not going to demo this add-on itself, but this is where you'll now be able to work with your add-on. Now, there's another way to find add-ons rather than going through the add-ons menu itself. You can go to the G Suite Marketplace. It's gsuite.google.com slash marketplace, and you'll find add-ons for not only Google Slides, but you'll find them for Gmail, Calendar, Docs, Sheets, and of course, Slides. So let's go to Slides here and select More. And let's see, there's one here that we want to use. We'll select that one. And now we can hit Install. And this process is exactly the same as it is if you're going directly from slides themselves. Now we're done. So now if we go back over here to my sample presentation and I refresh it, we will see that in my add-ons menu, I now have that easy accents add-on available. And it will be available to me for all future slides that I make. Now, if there's one that I decide I'm not using it very often, you know, for example, maybe I don't use this math ones very often, I don't want to keep it installed unless I really need it, I'll go into Manage Add-ons, and here I can uninstall anything that's not managed by my domain administrator. So in this case here, this app's installed by your admin, you'll see I don't have an option to uninstall it. But with math equations, you'll see there's an option to now uninstall it. We'll uninstall it, and it's no longer available in this set of slides or any other set of slides that I make in Google Slides. Now the process for adding an add-on to Google Forms, Google Sheets, Google Docs, is pretty much the same as it is in Google Slides. Again, go into your G Suite Marketplace and look for ones that are labeled to work with Docs, browse through, and add it in when you want it. So that's how you can add add-ons to your Google Slides. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.